Number four is before us. Communication, Mayor Lang of the City Council submitting an application for the reappointment of George H. Groove, Hathaway Road, New Bedford, um, 02746, as a constable, uh, referred here 61109, table 81809, and a communication from Judith McMullen to the City Council, re, uh, against the appointment of George Groove as a constable, referred here 81909. Motion to refer from the table would be motion so order, the table. made and seconded. All those in favor, all those opposed, the ayes have it. Invited was Mr. Gru and Ms. McMullen, I believe both are here. The petitioner is Mr. Gru. Um, Mr. Gru, if you please take the uh, podium. For the record, if you'd state your name and address. Good evening, everybody. Uh, George Gru, I believe on 227 Hathaway Road, New Bedford. It's 227. 227. Okay, we need to change well, that. Well, right now, I'm sorry. Change it to 223. Okay. <laughs> I own both houses. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Questions for Mr. Gru? Mr. Gru, you're, just give us some insight as to your experience as a constable, or your, why you want to stay as a constable. It's before us for a decision. I'm celebrating my 48th year this year. I mean, sorry, 40th year this year. How many? 40 years. As a constable? Effort, yeah. So you've got some experience? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> and you are uh, seeking to remain as a constable? Um, yes, positively. Did you did you miss an appointment date? Is that why? Yes, you're the here? last date. I have to apologize to everybody here. My grandchildren were helping me clean my office or some of my, or some of my old papers. By some reason or other, they they threw out the letter they sent me from here, and I forgot all about it myself. So then, then I called in here after and they told me they were going to have the meeting tonight. So I told them, make sure I get notice. I just, in fact, I just got back yesterday from and down in uh, what do you call it, uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. So I rush like hell to get on down here today. I have no further questions. Mr. Chairman, actually, I was going to ask you. There's a communication on the agenda that I submitted on behalf of Judith McMullen, yes. who had some information that she wanted to share with the council relative yes. to Mr. Gru. Will you let her address the council as yes, well? Yes, she she has been invited. As okay, well. yep. thank you. Any further questions? At the appropriate time, then. That's fine. Okay, Mr. Gru. Thank you. And thank you. Ms. McMullen, if you state your name and address for the record. This packet to me, because I forgot it. My name is Judith McMullen, and I'm here for on behalf of myself and my father, who's at 488 Park Street in New Bedford, Mass. And um, I submitted originally when I saw the appointment of George Grew some information that I thought was pertinent to your decision to reappoint. Um, Mr. Gru is very experienced and should have lots of knowledge as to the laws and the uh, rules governing constables. And um, the information that I had put on file, I don't know whether is this the proper forum to bring this up or is this something that needs to be discussed? The council, the body has received copies of communications from um, Ms. McMullen. As long as it doesn't impugn the character of the individual, you can speak before us. If um, Council Gonzalez, you're more, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, I'm more familiar with it. I don't know if you would warrant that going into a executive session or if it should be, or the, someone else would have to make that particular motion. I don't know, Mr. Chairman, do you want me to make a motion to? No, I'm just saying, I don't, as long as you don't impugn the character of the individual and you stick to the facts, then I won't have a problem with okay, it. Okay, I will stick to the facts. Okay, so in other words, no name call. Okay. okay. Yes. In 2004, we had an incident with Mr. Gru. Um, we have a uh, property in Dartmouth and we were approached by Mr. Grew. He showed us a constable's license or something and uh, proceeded to seize a vehicle in Dartmouth. We later found out that uh, a constable is not allowed to do these things. And we had some serious issues that arose out of that seizure. And uh, we learned other things that constables weren't supposed to do. We actually spoke with someone from the Boston Globe who was doing an article on constables. And uh, recently they've made some several law changes to, from the SJC that is making the public more aware of what's really 
the limitations of constables. Constables are appointed by a governmental body and they actually work for the city or town that appoints them. And they are uh, restricted to the jurisdiction of that city or town. Uh, Mr. Grew was not appointed in Dartmouth and used his New Bedford appointment to uh, seize vehicles in Dartmouth, which he wasn't supposed to do. We later found out that constables are also limited to items of $2,500 or less. The car was valued at $7,000. Uh, we were also told that the car was supposed to be going into a bonded storage facility. It was brought back to the property on Hathaway Road where George Grew resides. Then we were told that it was going to be held for not more than 30 days. It was held for four years. Um, we were charged over $2,600 for this vehicle storage. The property on Hathaway Road is not a storage facility. Um, and uh, it was later discovered that it was in the back of the property in a huge field behind the house with many other cars. Um, the documents that I submitted to the city council for review uh, based on, on the reappointment of Mr. Grew was a police report from the town of Dartmouth and uh, their findings verifying that these things are factual and that these incidents did occur. On our own, we were trying to find out if we could collect, and we found that most of the time when an issue like this happens, the only way that someone can recover is by suing through the city or town. In our case, when Mr. Grew was not appointed in Dartmouth and did not hold a bond there, we weren't covered. Um, we sought other means to recover from this, but I think this council should really be aware of the situation. And in our issue to try to get this resolved, we spoke with other people that had had these same sort of involvements, and it, it's not isolated to Mr. Grew, but I can definitely tell you factually that Mr. Grew is an experienced person. He knows that those rules exist as I found out too. And I feel as though um, it's something that's been taken advantage of not having this knowledge. And where you as a body have this knowledge and are appointing him, I just wanted to let you know that this has been occurring. The second thing that I found out is that this is happening in other areas. Mr. Grew uh, also seized another vehicle in Fairhaven. He's not appointed in Fairhaven either. And this car was a Lincoln Continental, and I don't believe it was under $2,500. And I submitted the woman's affidavit on that also. And I just would like the city of New Bedford's council people to take this into consideration, and if in fact they would investigate to see if this appointment is probably wise. Thank you. Questions for uh, Ms. McMullen? Okay, thank you.